Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with a brand new series. And today we are getting into FTB Skies. This mod pack has been out for a little bit now, and we're going to hop straight into this. I am not a hundred percent sure about anything in this pack. There are a few different world types we can choose from. Um, but we first get spawned into a kind of like starting hub, and then we have to choose the world type after jumping into a portal. So we're going to have to uh, kind of choose that after the menu thing. So let me be right back once we get to the actual menu loading screen thing. All right, so let's get this to hard mode, and let's just type in LP just so I know which world we're in. And that should be good. I'm not going to worry about seed or anything. We're just going to create a new world here. All right. Here's the options. We have FTB Sky Island, Anti-Sky Island, Minimalist Sky Island, Chosen Sky Island, and Compact Sky Island. So we're actually going to go with Minimalist. I think that just sounds like a hoot. And uh, let's get right into this. All right. So we've spawned in with some saplings. So I kind of want to... Hold off on breaking any saplings until we can kind of make this island a little bit larger here. Oop, there goes that piece of wood. Let's try and make sure we don't lose any more pieces of wood here. So let's break one more piece of log. And let's get kind of our basic little start here. Let's get a crafting table down. Let's get... I don't even want an axe. I just want some slabs. And let's place them... But it's kind of hard to see. Probably right about there. Is that right? I doubt it's right. No, it's not right. I wanted to place them right there on the top. So we can kind of do that generic sky block thing where we attempt to take off this top layer of dirt. And then let's harvest this last piece of wood. We have five saplings, so I'm not too, too worried. Okay, so that was two more pieces of log. Fantastic. Oop, and we got... Roots Classic in here, which is fantastic. All right, let's make one more set of these. And I haven't even looked in here. So we've got Charm of Legitation. We have Ceramic Water Bucket, Easter Egg, Iron Wand, Flax Seeds, and Rice Panicle. So we've got some decent stuff in here. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? Uh, we have rabbits. Mistakes were made. But really, was it a mistake? Hey, it's free food. Oh, we got apotheosis. Apotheosis, if you want to say that. But hey, free food. Okay, so I'm assuming that's like a lucky block type of thing. Um, that's what I'm going to assume. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, so after a little bit of expansion and taking out all of the dirt and keeping a single piece of grass, um, we are kind of here. Taking out this iron wand did do a quest, so let's actually take a step back and look at the quests available. So, welcome to FTB Skies, the new Skyblock pack for 1.19.2. This will continue on the, uh, into future versions of Minecraft. These quests are entirely optional, will help you guide through your adventures in our Skyblock world. We've got Inferno Carrot, Ability Bottle. Alright, so we'll grab all this stuff. Uh, ability Bottle, I've seen this mod before. I'm actually kind of surprised it's on 1.19.2. Uh, but it actually will let you get abilities after a little while, so that'll be pretty cool to look at every once in a while. Uh, let's eat the Inferno Carrot. So what else do we have in the way of quests? Oh my... All right. So base expansion. So this gave us a shape builder, automate building simple shapes, builders T. Uh, I think for right now we're going to ignore those. Um, divine design. Okay. Carpenter's table. All right, stuff we probably won't be able to get into for a little bit here. Uh, join or create a team island. Akashic Tome, which is probably all of our books. Yes, all right. So this is just holding all the books in the game for you. There's a guide from AE2 in here. Well, that's new-ish, unless that's a different mod. But that is pretty, pretty cool. I didn't even know that. 
And then I think it's... Yeah, just punch in the air, and you'll be able to change it back to the Akashic Tome. Uh, let's see. So, 16 logs. I guess I could get 16 logs here. Just cut down a couple more trees. And I have these spaced apart so they don't connect or anything, by the way. Um, just because it's easier. All right, so I just quickly claimed this, but growing the saplings you spawned with and chop it down. Leaves can be run through a sifter to give a high chance per block of obtaining saplings. They also make a great source of compost or apples with the better meshes. It's worth investment in some flint shears when possible. Okay, so a sifter. Sifter. This thing from Create. All right, we're not even close to that then. All right. Um... So where do we need to go? So we need to get flax. What in the world is that? Okay. Oh, these are just like things you can read. All right. Uh, going through your ship's portal will allow you to choose. Yeah, so this is your starting stuff. Um, we're just going to check mark this, but we're not going to grab this stuff. I don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, you may occasionally run into a loot bee that spawns around your island. They'll give you gifts if you stay nearby. However, they may fly off and be lost forever. Okay, that's a terrible pun. You can use a le lead to keep them in place, but then also follow you if you hold a poppy once you shed their beautiful delights. Uh, keep them around for breeding bees and making honey. All right. Fun little things that can happen. So there's different events, event toggles. All right. And throwing shade, Oculus mod, which allows you to use shaders. Uh, complimentary reimagined has been included to enable it. Yeah, we're not going to do that. All right, so we're just going to complete these. Um, oh, we have to make an observation of a bee. That's unbelievable. All right. So, yeah, we just need to get flax stuff going. So we need to make, like, a little farm. All right, I think I can work on that here. Uh, let's just put it right over here, maybe. All right, so that's planted. Let's actually quickly knock out this block here. And let's put a piece of dirt here. But first, I probably want to go down here and put a slab. Nope, not there. I don't really care about losing these slabs that much. Put one right there. So we could put the dirt there and a rice thing here. Or is that not, can I not place this there? No, this isn't a seed, is it? Do I need that? Yeah, okay. So there we go. All right, so I figured out how to get uh, cobblestone. If we actually look down here, uh, you can see that it says 16 rocks. Sneak right click, grass or dirt to collect rocks. So we're just gonna... All right, let's clear out this. And then just spam right click. Which it looks like these just kind of fly everywhere. So that's how you get cobblestone early game, apparently. And then just four of those makes cobblestone. And this makes more dirt. Alright, burn is complete. Our first piece of charcoal is complete. Alright, and our first eight bit of stone is complete. But let's quickly complete the cobble together quest, which gives us 16 cobblestone, pet rock, and some dirt. Uh, pet rock. Uh, what in the world? Why do you have an egg on your head? You got mail. 16 cobblestone. Let's take that and this. And we need to make a hammer, apparently. So let's look at a hammer. So this right here, most likely. Looks like we need some stone rods. Alright. And then go here hammer and i'm assuming this is like x nilo we put this down oh it actually gives you a little progression thing on the bottom that's pretty cool all right so there's gravel so there's hammer there's gravel and then we can take gravel into sand sand into dust all right okay and this into dust so dust, gravel, sand, 
And we also have some flax. So I've got six of that. Let's convert that to string. So there. So we got bone meal, flax seeds, and straw. String, can, yeah, so this is just from the flax itself. All right, and then a string mesh. All right, so we need some sticks. I should have some in here. Uh, wooden hopper and cooked chicken cuts. We don't really need food right now, but that's all right. And now we're on to a sifter. So we want a sifter, uh, which we need a wooden gear. Hence why I made eight stone. Because we need a button, some sticks. And we should almost have everything here besides a plank. And then we need a hand crank, right? That's what it's called. All right. So this is a not so terrible recipe. Sifters will allow you to run materials such as gravel, sand, and dust through meshes. A hand crank produces enough stress capacity for eight sifters. Sifters also have a cog in them, so you can place them in a line. Make sure the cog wheel that is part of the sifter aligns with the cog wheel your hand crank is on. You'll also need to make sure you've placed the mesh on the sifter. The material to shift to sift should be thrown or hoppered into the top, not placed. All right, so let's go up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's kind of understood now. So let's actually grab all of this stuff. And let's kind of try and figure out how we want to do this. So I'm assuming we could take this off. Take this. Let's just cover that. It's kind of like that. And then a cog wheel. Nope. I'm going to place the cog wheel like that. The hand crank like this. There we go. And then we're going to need some more string meshes, but that's fine. That's not too expensive. And for some reason, I have obtained a force craft stick. Uh, what's brown and sticky? A stick. Fantastic. It also popped up in chat. Here's a stick. All right. So the this is kind of interesting. Uh, looking at this, you can see that there's different types of meshes, by the way. And, for example, string mesh, you could get cocoa beans or sugar cane from sand. Let's actually attempt to get this. So, we're going to throw a piece in each one of these. I think we can throw multiple. Um, there's no guarantee that that's going to go into each one of these individually, but that's alright. And we're going to just keep going here. And the way you gather stuff out of these is simply by right-clicking on them to make sure they're empty. So that one actually has sand in it still, so let's just keep going. I don't know how large the internal buffer is for these, but, you know, workout session, oh goodness. Oh, I didn't realize that, like, took out hunger that much, but that's alright. We'll eat up some fried eggs. Uh, but we could just right-click. So we got some cocoa beans, some sugar cane, which is fantastic. It really is, because we actually need sugar cane for a quest as well. And sugar cane can grow quite high, of course, because apotheosis is in here. Uh, and let's look at dust real quick. So dust could give us... Where is string? Bone meal, gunpowder, or appetite. So it's kind of useless to use at the beginning here. I think gravel is probably what we're going to want to use. So let's get some more gravel so we can get some more iron nuggets here. All right, so now I've got 12 iron nuggets. And we also have a quest complete in here. Uh, sifting gravel will net you iron nuggets. These can be crafted into andesite alloy, which is necessary for progression. All right. Fantastic. So why we need andesite alloy is because we actually can get a different variation of the sift. The, the actual mesh here. If we look at andesite uh, mesh, we can see that this actually is a thing. 
which would give us a use for dust, a somewhat better use for sand. And each variation gives you different things. This one actually needs to be waterlogged, apparently. Um, so there's some different stuff with gravel, different stuff with dirt. We actually haven't even looked at dirt yet here. Um, what does that give you on a string mesh? Flax seeds, andesite chunks, diorite chunks, and tough chunk. Okay, so we're not missing much if we go to andesite. So let's upgrade... Let's get some andesite meshes here. So let's go for two, since that's what we were given. Okay. Is, oh, can I just... Do I need to break the entire sifter to do this? Which is kind of annoying. Alright, so andesite... And a site. Let's check out our quest. A bucket and cooked pork chop. With improved mesh, you're able to collect more varied resources from the sifter. Uh, sifters that are waterlogged some pro sometimes produce alternate resources. So what I want to do is I probably want to take the dust. See if we can get anything fancy. So we got some redstone. Which is good, which is actually another quest complete here. A redstone lantern. Redstone is your gateway into energy production and management after you get some look into some of the power generation mods like cyclic, thermal expansion, and mechanism. Let's see, so blazing dust is like one of the next things. But I think... Uh, sifting dirt is a chance to turn pasteurized seeds, which can turn dirt into grass. Using bone meal or grass can grow a variation of flowers, seeds, and roots. The golden egg gives you, given as a random as a reward, can be making delightful dirt, which makes massive. Okay, so we can make things spawn. So thank you guys so so much for watching the first episode of FTP Skies. I'm kind of gonna chop this up a little bit more, so it's a little bit shorter of an episode, but also. Uh, not a lot of like, I'm moving from this point to this point to this point to this point, um, this season. So we're going to try that, see how long it lasts. And I uh, think you guys stay awesome. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.